All right, so I'm going to go over tips for playing DMZ. This is basically going to be a completely fresh wipe for me since I just died. Um, so I'm going to go over the things that I do to get back in and get plates and everything like that. Get set up to be able to play in the game because loading in, you don't start with a whole lot. You start with one plate. You start with a small backpack, can't carry that much, you can't really fight even the AI with one plate. They're just so aggressive and so powerful. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in, I'm going to show you kind of what I look for, and then what I do to be able to extract. I'm also going to be playing this solo. So you can use these strategies solo, or you can use them in groups. It doesn't really matter. We're going to see how this goes. First tip that I can give you is make sure you deploy with missions that you need to complete. Go on down here and edit your missions. And just look through your missions, depending on if you have a team or not. Find ones that are easy for you to complete and do those first. And then here we go with the loadout. As you can see, I don't have anything. I just died, so I'm not starting with anything. Now you can, if you have weapons here in your uh, contraband stash, you can grab those and load in with them. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to act like I have nothing in my contraband. So no weapons. We're going to go with a tactical. Let's try going with Tactical, it's kind of hard. I mean, you could go with stun, you could go with shock. Um, I think I'm just going to go with stun. Your lethal, what you want to do with lethal is you want to go in with a throwing knife. Especially if you have no weapons, a throwing knife is one hit kill on the NPCs. So definitely run with a throwing knife as your lethal. Uh, field upgrade, go with munitions box. That way you can get throwing knives. And let's go. Alright, so now that we loaded in, we're going to take a look at the map here as soon as we can. As soon as you see that timer, look at your map. And find a place that you want to go. Where I'm at here, a good place close is this building here. So I'm going to start making my way that way. And there's also a cache on the way. Oh, here's one. Here's a cache. You can find these caches too. They're... they usually have some decent stuff in them. So right now we don't have anything. So we're just gonna kind of work our way towards that mark, because I know that's a good spot. Cache somewhere around here. Maybe not. There's a player that just jumped off. So I know there are players around I gotta watch out for. And I gotta watch out for the AI. I really don't want to fight the AI with one plate. There's a player over there shooting at him. We're just gonna... we're kinda gonna take the long way there. We know that there's that other team over here. I hope this other team does not know about this spot over here. So you want to find some spots that you know are good loot spots. Which I know of a couple. And I plan to make a video on them. But I know for sure... Like this one.
Hopefully I can make it up to the top. Alright. So we got these skylights you can actually drop down into. And inside these rooms... You can find gear. You can also find guns there. But you can keep doing this, just drop into a room. Man, the AI really followed me up here. Got some documents. Ooh. There's a bunch of cash. We'll drop it here. All right, here we go. See, I already got a three plate vest just doing this. And you also have the gold pistol that you have to come here to get for a quest. SMG, some more money. As for items, you really only want to pick up things that are $500 and more. So I try not to pick up things like that. And this spot is getting to be known. I have actually encountered people here multiple times. So if you're going to be here to do this, you got to do it very quick. Okay, is this one I need to go in? Nope. Wrong one. That one. The other side. Oh, I need a bigger backpack. Please give me a bigger backpack. Okay. Some gold bars. A gold skull. That's the first time I've seen the gold skull. The next tip I have, and I'm not following it right now, Don't stay in an area fighting AI. Once you are done in the area, just go ahead and get out of there. Because the AI are going to keep coming, and they are going to get harder. So when you are done in an area, just get out of there. Don't stick around, don't fight. Another thing that I will say is when you go to move to a new area, look around because you might find that there's people there. Oh, here we go. You really want to keep moving. This is not a good uh, situation. This has been looted. This is the other thing to keep out an eye out for. If you see doors open, somebody's been there looting. And you want to be real careful. I think, I think they're long gone here, though. This game isn't like, uh, like the first war zone where you're running around and you're all quick and everything like that. You just gotta take your time a little bit. All right, this is the next tip that I have for you. Have a destination in mind. Have a plan. Like my plan for this game was to get built up, get everything that I need. So I have a three plate, 
Uh, I'm gonna have plenty of money to be able to buy a self-revive or a gas mask or anything I need like that. Once you're done with your objectives, go ahead and leave. Like, there's no reason for you to stay in unless you want to, you know, go for the box or something like that, which usually you have to do it from the beginning, but just have a destination, a plan in mind. If you're doing your missions, go ahead and do your missions, get done, and get somewhere safe and extract. A lot of gunfire. So that's another player. Do you hear that gunfire? They're shooting at somebody else. That's one way to know if there's uh, other people in your area. Just listen for gunfire. If they're not shooting at you, they're shooting at somebody else. Obviously. Don't like this buy. One thing I could do... I can go over here and get this uh, UAV. And it'll tell me if there's real players around as well. As long as I don't run into AI. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna work my way around to there. We'll go ahead and hit this really quick. Alright, so now when you activate one of those towers, and you look at your map, all of these are AI. If they were solid red, those would be players. So now I know that it's just AI in my area, I don't have to worry about players. At least this close. Uh, let's see here. I want a large backpack, self-revive. And that should be good for now. So there, now I'm completely kitted out. I'm ready to go. I still have $29,000. Alright, so now I can look here and see what do I want to do. Well, let's look at my missions. I can extract gas cans. For that, I need to go here to the gas station. Um, that's pretty much all I'm going to be able to do. So we'll go ahead and go to there really quick. Grab some gas cans. I should have bought more plates is what I should have bought back there. Yes, can. There's one. You need to with those objectives to your Only objectives. one. Get moving. All right. So from here, instead of going to one of these extraction points, which you could if you wanted to extract, but everybody has access to these extraction points. Instead of doing those, look for a rescue hostage mission. And there are a few on the map. There's one there, one there, Ultra one. one. Over here somewhere. There it is. And what... What you get when you do that... Is you actually get your own personal helicopter to get you out of here. And... That is a really good strategy for solo players. Because then you don't have the risk. One sec. You don't have the risk of getting uh, absolutely destroyed at one of the other extraction points. And you see how I slowed down, I'm looking around, not just running right out. I want to make sure that I'm not going to get just completely killed by going out. We still have five minutes, so it's not pressing that I extract yet. So we're kind of just taking our time, looking around, seeing what there is. The 
Just make sure you move with a purpose as you're going around. Alright. So we gotta go up here to get our little buddy. Which is right where the gunfire is. So this is gonna be interesting. I may get killed here. shooting at me already. One fighting AI. You don't have to rush in. You can be a little bit patient. Because they can be very, very dangerous. See, they're shooting at somebody else. See? There's other players here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fall back. Especially with having no plates and knowing that there's other players there, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of there. We're gonna put some distance here. And I might actually go back to uh, that buy station just to buy plates. We still have two and a half minutes, so we're still all right. Radiation zone is up there in the north, so we should be good. But yeah, if you get into a rough spot like that, you know that there's other people, you know there's AI and stuff like that, just just get out of there. If it's something that you know you're not going to be able to win, don't fight it. There's a bunch of AI running in there. Oh, there's a bunch of AI. Now, we're going in here blind because we don't, you know, we've left the area. We don't know if there's going to be actual players here. Ooh, RPG. So we have to be very, very careful. Alright, so there's a bunch of AI over there. I think we're good. Alright, so we got the hostage. Our next job is we need to go... Do this helo. What sucks is when you carry the hostage, you do not have weapons. So we have to run. Hopefully at this point we don't encounter anyone. Usually it's not this far away. But I would say this is the better way to extract, is find one of these hostage miss missions and then extract using the hostage. Because this way other people don't know where you're extracting. It's especially helpful for uh, like getting the weapon crates out. Almost there. Oh, gotta go to the back. 
It's easier to get in the back with the hostage. And here's some gas masks for us. And look at that. Alright, I hope these tips helped you guys out. I plan to come out with more videos. And I'm going to try to actually do um, more of a script. This was completely unscripted, so it might not have everything I could possibly think of to help you out in a mission or doing uh, DMZ. But I hope that this helps get you started if you start with absolutely nothing. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, like the video. Comment down below and I will be sure to comment back and I will talk to you guys later.